Huawei Technology Co., Ltd.'s International Road. Huawei is a provider of information and communication solutions in the People's Republic of China, headquartered in Shenzhen, Guangdong Province. Huawei was incorporated in 1987 and its business scope covers telecommunications networks, enterprise networks, consumers and cloud computing. Its telecommunication network products mainly include switching networks, transmission networks, wireless and wired fixed access networks, data communication networks and wireless terminal products in communication networks. Since 2012, Huawei has become the world's largest manufacturer of telecommunications equipment. In September 1987, Huawei was approved by the Shenzhen Municipal Administration of Industry and Commerce as a private technology enterprise with a registered capital of 21,000 yuan and 14 employees. The main business is the Hacks Small Analog Switch of Hong Kong Kangli Investment Co., Ltd., which is under the control of Chinese funded. The name Huawei means Chinese is promising. The establishment of the early agent small program controlled switch, the first breakthrough in the core technology of communication equipment, is the CNC08 large-scale program controlled switch introduced in 1994, and gradually occupied the communication equipment market such as China's fixed switch access network, and its market share gradually expanded. By the end of the 1990s, it had already occupied most of the market share with other minority competitors in the Chinese domestic market. By 2007, Huawei had strong strengths in several fields, such as optical transmission networks, mobile and fixed switching networks, and data communication networks, and competed fiercely with established telecommunications companies such as Ericsson, Alcatel, and Cisco in the global telecommunications market. Huawei Technologies Co., Ltd was an unknown company before the IT bubble, but after the IT bubble, the company grew rapidly based on China and quickly attracted attention from all walks of life. The market is not limited to developing countries. Founded in Shenzhen in 1987, he became a sales agent for a Hong Kong company that produces user switches PBX. In 1990, it began to independently develop and commercialize PBX technology for hotels and small businesses. In 1992, it began to develop and launch rural digital exchange solutions. In 1995, sales reached 1.5 billion yuan, mainly from the Chinese rural market. In 1997, a wireless GSM solution was introduced. In 1999, a research and development center was established in Bangalore, India. In 2000, a research and development center was established in Stockholm, Sweden. Overseas market sales reached 100 million US dollars. In 2001, the non-core subsidiary Avensis was sold to Emerson for 750 million dollars. Established four R&D centers in the United States. Joined the International Telecommunication Union ITU. The Bangalore R&D center in India has obtained CMM4 certification. In 2002, overseas market sales reached $552 million. In 2003, it established a joint venture with 3Com to focus on the research of enterprise data network solutions. The Bangalore R&D Center in India has obtained CMM Level 5 certification. With Cisco Systems Inc. sued Huawei for infringement, but the lawsuit ended with a settlement. In 2004, a joint venture company was established with Siemens to develop a TDS CDMA solution. Received a contract worth more than $25 million from Dutch operator Telfort for the first time to achieve a major breakthrough in Europe. In 2005, overseas contract sales exceeded domestic contract sales for the first time. Signed the Global Framework Agreement with Vodafone and officially became the preferred communication equipment supplier for Vodafone become the preferred 21st century network provider for BT, BT providing multi-service network access MSAN, components and transmission equipment for the BT 21 century network. In 2006, it sold 49% of H3C's shares for $880 million. Cooperate with Motorola to establish a joint R&D center in Shanghai to develop UMTS technology. Launch a new corporate identity. In 2007, a joint venture was established with Symantec to develop storage and security products and solutions. Established a joint venture with Global Marine to provide end-to-end -end cable solutions for submarine cables. Become a partner of all top European carriers. 
Awarded the Outstanding Performance Award 2007 by Vodafone and is the only telecommunications network solution provider to receive this award. Launched a mobile fixed convergence FMC solution strategy based on an all IP network to help telecom operators save on total operating costs and reduce energy consumption. In 2008, it was ranked as one of the 10 most influential companies in the world by Business Week. According to Informa's consulting report, Huawei ranks third in the world in the mobile device market. For the first time in large-scale commercial UMTS HSPA networks in North America, building next-generation wireless networks for Canadian operators TELUS and Bell. The global cumulative shipment of mobile broadband products exceeds 20 million units. According to Abbey Data, the market share ranks first in the world. A total of 1,737 PCT patent applications were submitted throughout the year. According to the statistics of the World Intellectual Property Organization, the number of patent application companies people ranked first, LTE patents accounted for more than 10% of the world. In 2009, the wireless access market share ranked second in the world. Successfully delivered the world's first LTE EPC commercial network and achieved the highest number of LTE commercial contracts in the world. Be the first to release an end-to-end -end 100G solution from the router to the transport system. Received the IEEE Standards Organization's 2009 Outstanding Corporate Contribution Award. Received the Business New Award issued by the Financial Times and was selected as one of the top five Sony companies selected by Fast Company magazine. The main products have achieved resource consumption reduction of more than 20% year-on-year, and more than 3,000 new energy supply solution sites have been deployed around the world. In 2010, more than 80 singular and commercial networks were deployed globally, and 28 of them have been commercially released or will soon release LTE EPC services. Established a safety certification center in the UK. Signed a voluntary energy saving agreement with the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology of China. Joined the United Nations World Broadband Commission. Received the 2010 Corporate Innovation Award from The Economist magazine. In 2011, the Gigasite Solution and U2Net, a ubiquitous UWB network architecture, were released. 20 cloud computing data centers were built. Smartphone sales reached 20 million units. Acquired Huasi for $530 million. The integration of the 2012 lab was established. Release the SmartCare solution. It has won six top LTE top awards worldwide. In the same year, Huawei plans to acquire a 49% stake in Symantec's joint venture company, Huawei Symantec, for $530 million. Huawei is a joint venture between Huawei and Symantec in Hong Kong in 2008, providing security, storage and systems management solutions. In 2012, we continued to promote global localization, strengthened investment in Europe, focused on increasing investment in the UK, established new R&D centers in Finland, and established local boards and advisory committees in France and the UK. In the 3GPP LTE core standard, it has contributed to the world's first 400G DWDM optical transmission system through 20% of the total number of proposals, and released the industry's largest 480G circuit board in the IP field and customers in 33 countries around the world to carry out cloud computing cooperation and construction. The world's largest desktop cloud with a scale of 70,000 has launched a mid to high end flagship product that is selling well in developed countries. In the same year, John Rose, head of Huawei's North American R&D, said that Huawei has fully prepared for the Cisco system in the US market to challenge the network equipment industry, but said it will require patience and time. In 2013, the Global Financial Risk Control Centre was established in London, UK to monitor Huawei's global financial operations risks, ensuring that financial services operate in a standardised, efficient and low-risk manner. The European Logistics Centre is officially operational in Hungary, radiating Europe, Central Asia, the Middle East, Africa country. As the main promoter of the EU 5G project, the initiator of the 5GIC, 5GIC, in the UK, released a 5G white paper, actively built a 5G global ecosystem, and conducted close joint research with more than 20 universities around the world, Huawei is building a wireless future technology development industry standards and industry chains actively contribute. 
The 400G router commercial solution has been approved by 49 customers and put into commercial scale. In addition, Huawei has also released the Backbone Router 1T routing line card, as well as the 40T Ultra Large Capacity Wave Sampler and the All Optical Switching Network AOSN new architecture. Continue to lead the global LTE commercial deployment, has entered more than 100 capital cities around the world, covering the nine financial centers. Released the world's first agile network architecture centered on business and user experience and the world's first agile switch S12700 to meet the needs of new applications such as cloud computing, BYOD, SDN, Internet of Things, multi-service and big data. Focusing on consumers, make it possible continues to focus on the boutique strategy, in which the flagship model achieves a win-win situation for the brand, the smartphone business has achieved a historic breakthrough, and it has entered the third largest in the world. Huawei's mobile phone brand has a global reputation. Increased by 110%. In the same year, Ren Zhengfei said that in the next 5 to 10 years, Huawei will not consider the overall listing. On November 17, 2016, the eighth meeting of the 3GPP of the International Wireless Standardization Organization was held in Las Vegas, USA to discuss the mobile phone 5G standard. China China mainly promoted Polarcode, Polarization, Code, Qualcomm mainly promotes LDPC solution, France mainly pushes Turbo 2.0 solution, and the final short code scheme wins by Huawei Polarization Code. On June 28, 2017, Hainan Provincial Government signed a strategic cooperation agreement with Huawei Technologies Co., Ltd., and Huawei landed Hainan, 7. Huawei will leverage its core technologies and integrated industry chain integration capabilities in cloud computing, big data, Internet of Things, smart cities, and safe cities to promote the development of Hainan's Internet of Things, cloud computing, and big data industries. On December 6, 2018, Huawei confirmed that the company's founder Ren Zhengfei's eldest daughter, the current vice chairman and chief financial officer CFO, Meng Zhuzhou was arrested at the request of the U.S. government when he was transferred to Vancouver, Canada on December 1. On January 16, 2019, Ren Zhengfei, founder and CEO of Huawei, said in an interview with CNBC in Shenzhen that Huawei is entirely owned by the company's employees, with nearly 97,000 shareholders and 180,000 employees. On January 28, 2019, Huawei Technologies Co., Ltd., the company's chief financial officer, Meng Zhuzhou and two branches were prosecuted by the U.S. Department of Justice for a total of 23 criminal charges, including telecommunications fraud, bank fraud, conspiracy to defraud the United States, and theft of trade secrets, violations of the International Emergency Economic Rights Act, i.e., U.S. sanctions against Iran, conspiracy to launder money and conspiracy to obstruct justice. The U.S. Department of Justice said Huawei has stolen the technology of the telecommunications company T-Mobile's U.S. division to test the durability of smartphones. Huawei issued an official statement today denying all allegations. On February 1, 2019, Huawei and ABC Telecom of British Columbia of Canada announced a cooperation plan. Huawei will use the multi-input and multi-output massive MIMO technology to develop a high-speed internet pilot program for the inland town of Lacarius. Internet speed, promised speed of 100 megabytes per second. On the morning of March 7, 2019, Huawei held a foreign media press conference at the Shenzhen headquarters to announce an important decision to sue the U.S. government. It is stated that the U.S. government's 889 clause of the U.S. National Defense Authorization Act against Huawei is unconstitutional, and Huawei has officially filed a lawsuit in the Federal District Court of Eastern Texas. The clause was signed into law by the U.S. President last August, prohibiting U.S. executive agencies from acquiring Huawei's communications hardware products and services. Huawei Technologies Co., Ltd. is divided into six major systems, sales and services, products and solutions, finance, marketing strategy, operation and delivery, and human resources. Among them, there are seven major regions in the world under the sales and service system, China, domestic market department, 27 representative offices in China, Asia Pacific, Latin America, Europe and America, Southern Africa, CIS in the district and the Middle East and North Africa, there are representative offices under each district stationed in various countries. The employees working in the representative office are also led by the representative office and the system department. 
Huawei also has subsidiaries, including High Silicon Semiconductor Co., Ltd., Consumer Business, Former Terminal Company, Huawei Digital Technology Co., Ltd., Huawei Software Technology Co., Ltd., Angieshin Electric Co., Ltd., Shenzhen Hutong Business Co., Ltd., Huawei University, Huawei Symantec Technology Co., Ltd., and Huawei Ocean Network Co., Ltd., etc. The consumer business headquarters is located in Dongguan City and is located in Longgong District, Shenzhen, where Huawei headquarters is located. From top to bottom, Huawei's organizational structure is the Board of Directors BOD, Management Management Team EMT, Product Investment Review Board IRB, the Six System Office Meeting. Huawei has established a number of research institutes in India, the United States, Sweden, Europe, German and Italian, etc., Russia and China, including Beijing, Shanghai, Nanjing, Wuhan, Chengdu, Xi'an and Hangzhou, and 48% of the 89,000 employees. Engaged in research and development, by the end of 2006, it has applied for more than 19,000 patents. It has become the most patented unit in China for several consecutive years. On May 8, 2006, Huawei launched a new enterprise identification system. In September 2006, Huawei 3Com, a network communication equipment brand jointly established by Huawei and 3Com, was renamed H3C. After several changes, H3C was acquired by Zigwang Group and renamed Xinhua Group. In 2007, Huawei and Symantec jointly established a storage and network security solution provider, Huawei Symantec Technology Co., Ltd. In 2012, it invested in the shares held by Symantec and became a wholly owned subsidiary of Huawei. In 2010, Huawei Software Technology Co., Ltd. and Langxin Information Technology Co., Ltd jointly established Beijing Huawei Longxin Technology Co., Ltd. by Longxin Chairman Xu Changjun as the joint venture company. Huawei's main revenue comes from the telecom carrier business, and it also provides products and services for businesses and individuals. About one-third of the world's people use some form of Huawei technology. In 2007, the contracted sales amounted to $16 billion, of which overseas sales were $11.5 billion, and it was the first profit and tax payment in China's domestic electronics industry. As of the end of 2007, Huawei has covered more than 100 countries and regions in the international market. Of the top 50 telecom operators in the world, 35 have used it. Huawei Mate 20 Pro screen quality Huawei Mate 20 series was released in October 2018. The Mate 20 Pro was discovered by users in different regions after the release, and the screen edge was green, or it was suspected to be related to OLED materials. Some media have pointed out that the first screen suppliers of Huawei Mate 20 Pro have LG and Bo, and the problem is the panel products supplied by LG. Huawei is not a listed company and has no obligation to disclose its earnings. However, it will also proactively publish some data. In 2007, the contracted sales amounted to $16 billion, of which overseas sales were $11.5 billion, and it was the first profit and tax payment in China's domestic electronics industry. As of the end of 2007, Huawei has covered more than 100 countries and regions in the international market. Of the top 50 telecom operators in the world, 35 have used Huawei products and services. In 2008, the contracted sales amounted to 23.3 billion US dollars, which was the first profit and tax payment in China's domestic electronics industry. As of the end of 2008, Huawei has covered more than 100 countries and regions in the international market. Of the top 50 telecom operators in the world, 45 have used Huawei products and services. In 2010, Huawei's annual sales were 21.8 billion US dollars. Huawei entered the Fortune Global 500 for the first time in the same year and has maintained it to this day. The sales revenue in 2012 was 220.2 billion yuan, 66% from the market outside China. Among them, the operator's market sales revenue was 160.3 billion yuan, accounting for 73% of the total. The sales in the individual consumer market was 48.4 billion yuan, accounting for 22%, and the sales revenue in the enterprise business market was 11.5 billion yuan, accounting for 5%. Among the 130 LTE commercial networks released around the world, 64 of them have Huawei participation. 
As of February 2011, Huawei has applied for 49,040 patents worldwide. In 2014, Huawei applied for 3,442 patents worldwide, ranking first in the world. 2017 and 2018 have become the world's largest patent applications for two consecutive years. The company in the smartphone business, as of the second quarter of 2015, Huawei ranked third in the global smartphone market share, second in the Chinese market. In short, Huawei is a great company.